France. And for more on these elections, I'm joined by Nabila Ramdani, French journalist and broadcaster. And Nabila, thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, firstly, what's your reaction uh, to these results and what do you think is the big or key understanding to take away from what's happened? Well, I can tell you that I was on a packed uh, Place de la République in Paris when the results of the second round and indeed final round uh, of these parliamentary elections uh, dropped. And there was certainly a, an element of huge relief that the national rally uh, far-right party of Marine Le Pen was firmly kept out of power, coming third in the polls, an immense joy that the left-wing a new popular front uh, uh, came uh, on top, securing most seats in the French uh, parliament and achieve exactly what it was set to do, uh, which is to uh, lock uh, the far right out of power. Participation in the latest uh, round was huge, with uh, turnout estimated at almost 67 percent, uh, the highest uh, uh, since uh, 1981. And a victory for the new popular front um, followed even Mr. Macron uh, calling for a Republican front against the national rally, meaning that it, they effectively pulled um, candidates out of key constitu constituencies sorries, so as to leave a, a single anti-national rally um, candidate with a clear run at victory. So this kind of tactical is... voting has paid off and it avoids a so-called cohabitation when a lame duck president must work with an opposition government. Now, this will come as a huge relief for Mr. Macron, but he still has masses of problems ahead. Yeah, we'll get to Mr. Macron in just a moment. Uh, tell us more about the national rally then. Uh, they've been defeated here, but they have gained an awful more, a lot more seats. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it has to be said that nobody has achieved a clear majority of 289 seats uh, out of 577 seats in the French National Assembly, meaning that the overall result is effectively a, a hung parliament. But what is certain, however, is that the national rally vote uh, has increased in, uh, enormously. They only had uh, seven MPs in 2017. Uh, 89 by 2022 and between up to 152 uh, uh, this time around. So they will, this result will still act as a springboard for Marine Le Pen to challenge for the uh, French presidency in 2027. And uh, Mr. Macron will be forced to step down uh, in that year, uh, whatever happens, because French uh, presidents are only allowed two terms. And in the meantime, uh, you know, this is... Uh, has effectively boosted the vote of the of the national rally and indeed their visibility in the political landscape. But uh, we've heard from the uh, leader, one of the leaders of the new Popular Front, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, uh, the coalition that has achieved uh, the best results, uh, uh, calling on Mr. Macron to appoint a new prime minister from the alliance of the left-wing uh, parties. Now, Mr. Mélenchon said that the a president has a duty to call on a new a popular front to govern, and it is ready uh, to govern. Now, we'll have to wait and see if Mr. Macron will acknowledge the victory of the National Front and allow them to form a government and indeed uh, um, uh, name put forward a prime minister, even though they have fallen short of an, uh, securing an absolute majority in the parliament. But my guess is that Mr. Macron will be quite happy to remain the only figure in charge in what is an overwhelmingly uh, a presidential system. He will choose his own prime minister, form his own government, because the presidential function and indeed the constitution uh, allow him to do so. You say they allow him to do so, but will this hung parliament, in effect, make it more difficult for him to govern, you know, for the next few years ahead until that next election in 2027? Well, uh, Mr. Macron uh, has uh, history of hiring and firing uh, prime ministers uh, at his will and, of course, ruling by presidential decree. So I don't think uh, that there will be much change there. And in fact, as France is heading towards, you know, the Summer uh, Olympic Games, uh, it will be very much seen as an excuse for him to use his presidential decrees and his extraordinary powers to govern single-handedly not least of all because there are fears of violence uh, that could mar indeed this what is meant to be uh, a, a sporting extravaganza. And in fact, you know, there have already been uh, outbreaks of violence across major cities uh, such as Paris and Lyon. 
Nabila, thank you very much uh, for your time today. Nabila Ramdani, French journalist and broadcaster.